What's the communication been like with Coach O'Brien for these last three or four weeks? Well, Coach O'Brien is amazing that he could be preparing for the Super Bowl and also preparing to, to take over a program like Penn State. Have you figured out how he does it? I mean, what's the, what's the <laughs> well, secret? Yeah, he doesn't sleep a lot, I know okay. that. Okay. I think he's an extremely hard worker with a lot of energy. But uh, what we have done is we've stayed in touch with Coach through text messaging, through conference calls, uh, over speaker phones. Uh, of course, everybody knows he flew in for the big recruiting weekend and spent eight hours with recruits and then with us and set some very firm directives in place for us to follow. Uh, so I'm, I'm really excited about Coach uh, being here full time because I think he's going to do an unbelievable job leading the Penn State program. Have you been pleased with being able to sort of keep everything together? I mean, it's been a hectic, certainly, and stressful, you know, few weeks. Yeah, and I think it speaks volume about Coach O'Brien and his reputation, the coaching staff he's put in place, and a great group of people that have worked very well together. And then I think it speaks well to the recruits. Uh, that they are some strong character young men who really wanted to come to Penn State. Who hey, you got Sunday? I'm sorry? Who hey, you got Sunday? Sunday? Super Bowl? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you care? I don't bet on you. Of course not. I don't either. I don't either. My dad's a minister. I'm not allowed. Of course not. I'm rooting for Coach O'Brien. Fair enough. Thank you.